I'm not allowed to balance. 58 dicks. Today I wanted to try something a little different. I was reading an article a while ago, like a month ago, about uh, playing card world records. So anything to do with uh, dealing, shuffling. So there's a whole article on playing card world records on playingcarddicks.com. So I thought we'd take a look at a few of them. And I don't know, I might try uh, the world records out. Like, just give them one go, see if they're timed, like what my times are compared to the actual world records. Do bear in mind, I'm not aiming to beat any world records here. Uh, I'm just gonna have fun. Holding the most cards in one hand, you'll have to beat the incredible number of 326. You need to have the color and value of every single card shot. What? That's... That's ridiculous. This, also, this next category also sounds quite beatable. The longest time for balancing a deck of cards on your elbow. With three minutes... Like this? Like on your elbow? Why is this, why is this a difficult world record? I mean, obviously my arm's gonna get really sore. But that's balanced, or is it meant to be like... I mean, it's not hard to balance. It'll be holding your arm here that's hard. What? I don't want to do this for four minutes, so. I mean, it's not hard to balance. It's not hard to balance. The current record, 55 decks of cards in one hand. So if we look at the picture, which is right here, he's like balancing them with his other hand. I don't quite understand. I kind of want to try it. Okay, let's try it. We need some playing cards. This right here is 22 decks of cards. So let's see if we can do 22 first, and then we'll try add on more. There's 22 decks of playing cards. Problem here is Jeremy Griffith, Los Angeles. His playing cards have these nice cigar sleeves on them, like this. They have this sleeve on them, which just comes off. And now you've got a nice uh, blank box. But the problem with that is they don't make the cards flat and even when you're stacking them on top of each other. Uh, it actually makes it kind of slightly harder. So, I guess we use different cards. So down here we have a bunch of uh, bicycle playing cards. Most of these aren't full decks. So, I don't know, that's probably cheating, so I'm not going to use them. Uh, I've got to use playing cards that are full decks. 26, 28, 29. 58 decks of cards. The record, the record is apparently 55. So I have no idea if this is actually possible. <laughs> this seems a bit insane, but let's give it a go, eh? All right. I'm not sure the best way of doing this and if there's any rules. Like it looks like, looking at the picture right here, that he only has two, I think. I'm wondering if I can do three. This back packet is quite precarious. Oh no, we're losing them. <laughs> oh no, we're losing them. <laughs> Alright, restart. Oh, I'm not gonna have fun putting all these back. We've got 
no. Ow. <laughs> Damn it. That was like 50. Ugh. I'm gonna try and get these cards as even as possible, as straight as possible, and then just slide them onto my hand off the shelf. And, uh, well, see what happens. Now this is actually really difficult. The cards are wanting to lean quite a lot on either side uh, to fall over. That didn't work. Oh. Oh, 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 no, okay. No. Moving on. All right, so there's definitely a few interesting ones here to do with sorting. Sort all the cards, suit and number, ace through king. Apparently, the official record from Guinness is 36.16 seconds. Uh, or we can try removing all the spades from a shuffled deck. And that is apparently 11.51 seconds. So I'm gonna give that one a go. Let's see how fast we can remove spades. There's actually a video on a record setter of him doing it in 2011. So I'm gonna start the timer now and then I'll review the video to see exactly the time that I started at on here. So, are we ready? Set, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, done. Alright, let me review this and I'll see what it was. I think that was too slow though. So I think I was roughly, just by looking at the footage briefly, about 5 seconds too slow. I think I did it in like 16, 17 seconds. So we're going to try it again and see what happens. Alright, well mixed. 3, 2, 1, go. We're off to a rocky start, aren't we? Go faster, 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 go faster. Well, four of them right there. Go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. I'm not counting, I'm not counting. Hopefully we get them all. Hopefully we get them all. Done. Alright, and let's review this footage. Alright, that time we were still too slow. So I believe that was roughly about 14-ish seconds. Let's click start on here and three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Alright, there are some pretty cool records. There's one for breaking decks of cards, like tearing them apart. Uh, the record is two decks in 18.2 seconds. Point two seconds. Like one 
like, like one revolution of the symbol cut like that. Alright, let's stop that. Alright, well, that was an interesting video to make. Um, I definitely want to make a second part to this. Uh, I want to try out a few more of the records, see if I can maybe attempt these ones again, we'll have to see. Uh, like I said, I'm not super interested in actually beating the records. I'm just having fun uh, going through them, seeing actually how fast people can do things, because it's insane, and trying it myself. Um, but otherwise, I'm definitely going to make a second part of this video at some point. Now, I'll try a few more of the records. And if you want to go and have a go, go check them out. Uh, you can find it on playingcarddex.com. I'll leave the link to the article in the description. And then if you also go on Record Setter, it's where all the records are posted. Uh, I don't actually think they're official Guinness World Records. So otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, I enjoyed making this. Time to put all the playing cards back.